Om Shalom, following Yeshua, welcome again to the rock. There is a lot of empty, vain religion taking place right now. Right now in this faith, there are liars, there are deceivers, there are people doing whatever they can to somehow use somebody else or make gain off somebody else. It's incredible. But as far as the religious, you know, I, I see a lot of people today take the Bible and they use it for their own benefit. They create doctrines of men. They just do a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, you know, you know, in this preparedness movement, you have a lot of people that say, well, I don't have to come out. I don't have to store food. I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't have to. Yah's got me. And I, I question that severely because these are the same people that will go to work so that they can pay their bills. So when it comes to paying their bills, they're not saying, yeah, got me. When it comes to getting food, they don't say, well, I don't have to go to the grocery store because yeah, has got me. No. When it comes to those sort of things, they get up and go to the grocery store and they buy food and they go to work and they work their butts off so that they could take the, the, the currency and exchange it for food. Whenever you bring something up like come out of her, be ye separate, uh, uh, touch out the unclean things that y'all receive us, uh, uh, be peculiar people, you know, follow the old paths as the book says, where you find rest for your soul, uh, hate not husbandry which the most high hath ordained. When you say those things, people are like, well, I don't have to do all that. I don't have to do that because Yah's got me. And I just, it's baffling. It's baffling. Faith without works is dead. They say they believe, but they don't do anything behind it. And they think that their belief is shown by them going to church, by them paying their pastor their tithes and offerings. That's showing their belief. And yet, testimony after testimony, I get to hear people say things like, I wish I had a stored food because I'm in trouble now. Can you help me? Go fund me. And the e-begging movement is growing exponentially. People are e-begging for money. They want people to send them money because they did not, they were not the prudent man for seeing the evil and hide themselves because they didn't think that they had to come out of her or do these things. And it's sad. I see a lot of brothers fall into that trap. Essentially, they don't want to give up the pleasures that they have in this world. They don't want to give up the amenities and the comforts that have been provided by Egypt. So they look at those that come out of her as, or they try to change the definition of it. Well, come out of her doesn't mean that. You know, you, you, when you, you move out there, you, know, you don't have to move out there. Yeah, there are plenty of people who move out here and have not come out of her. Because coming out of her is more than just a relocation. Coming out of her is spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, sexually. You are literally pulling everything of yourself out of her. Then I look at sisters and I'm like, Religion has done a number on many of y'all. I continue to hear about being in the spirit. And I understand what the Bible says being in the spirit is. I understand what the Bible says, what the flesh is and the spirit is. But if you don't have an understanding, the spirit is not some spiritual religious ideology you heard from some church or ministry or camp where you're just in the spirit. La, in the spirit. There was flesh, sin. And the spirit is righteousness. It's truth. For instance, a lot of people don't understand that when you obey the book, you are actually operating in the spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth and he leads and guides you into all truth. What's the truth? The Bible. What's the truth? The law. And it leads and guides you there. It doesn't lead you and guide you in your feelings. So a lot of sisters are, are misinterpreting their feelings as being in the spirit. And then every, that you hear them all the time. Oh, I was just in the spirit and the Most High was speaking to me. I'm like, shit, the Most High is speaking to you more than he ever did the prophets. He's speaking to you more than he ever did Elijah. Elisha. Nathan, Jeremiah, Isaiah, every thought you have is not the most high speaking to you. Cut this religious mumbo jumbo gibberish that we were taught in these tr tr traditional Christianized churches, the apostolic church, the Pentecostal church. You, people spend more time being 
uh, uh, apathetic and lazy than they do being active. And they, they misplace and miscalculate and say, well, my apathy and my religious talk and my long skirt and my fringes and my beard and my uh, uh, head covering, those are the things that show you that I'm in the spirit. You got people, you know, who post up these pictures on 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 these, these Insta, uh, Instagram site, not Instagram, uh, social media sites, where it shows a woman who transitioned from a, a skirt or a a, a, a a pair of tight leggings into a uh, uh, a skirt, and they call that holiness. I'm like, you just changed the way you dress. That's the outward man. What about the inward man? Because there's a lot of skirts and head coverings that are walking around right now, wicked as hell. So stop posting up this crap thing and that because you changed the outward man. You clean the outside of the cut like the Pharisees did. That you are somehow now walking in righteousness. You ain't done shit yet. That's like washing the outside of a pig. The pig is still, inside the pig is still unclean. It still don't sweat. It don't matter how much dove you put on the, on the outside of it. This is what religion has done. So everybody is, is, is inactive and we've made the faith. Our ancestors showed us the faith was a very active thing. It's concrete. It's active. You have to do something. If you want to eat, when uh, 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 the famine hit, Yah raised up Joseph to go to Egypt to save his family. Y'all didn't say, well, you know, I'm going to feed uh, Jacob and, and, and the other 11 brothers with some spiritual food and the servants that Jacob had and the daughters that Jacob had. I'm going to feed them with spiritual food. No, he rose up a man who went and fed them, who made sure, and, and he ascended in Egypt to the point where he could feed them. When a deliverer was needed, y'all didn't say, well, I'm going to deliver Israel in the spirit. I'm going to make them free in the spirit. No, Moses went with a Haran. And today we spiritualize everything that we think that we are walking in some sort of anything and we're walking in complete bondage. And one thing you're bound to is religion. Because guess what? If things go down tomorrow, we don't have to leave the gate. Uh, we don't have to leave the gates here. For a very, 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 very long time. And my family will eat and they'll still eat nutritious foods and they'll still take showers and they'll still be clean and they'll still have their hair done and they'll still have their teeth brushed and they'll still eat, uh, 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 be able to, to eat sweet things because we have fruit and they'll still be able to eat meat because we have chickens and they'll still be able to have protein because we have eggs and they'll still be able to eat carbohydrates because we have all sorts of things that we grow carbohydrates with. Uh, Jerusalem artichokes and potatoes, by the way, if you're looking for Jerusalem artichokes, in my description, hood to homestead at yahoo.com. I sell them. It's not because I sat here and said, I'm just going to, in the spirit. I didn't sit in dead smack in the middle of the hood and say, I'm going to be in this. I'm going to spiritually deliver my family. No, I had to do it naturally and I had to do it spiritually. But first, that which is natural. Then that which is spiritual. And we focus about, we, we focus on the spiritual. We skip the natural part all the time. And try to focus on the spiritual. And all we do is deceive ourselves. We deceive the wicked, lazy, apathetic, passive part of us that really doesn't want to do anything. Because it's so much easier. And I'm being real. It is so much easier to sit around and, and, and pretend to speak in tongues and pretend to be in the spirit and pretend to, to, to do all this shit. Because it's all predicated on your feelings. I feel like I'm in the spirit. I feel, well, if you were in the spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, which is leading God and you know all truth, then it would have guided you into making moves. If you were truly in the spirit. When I talk to sisters, I, I don't need a, a, a covering. I don't need a, a husband. I'm in the spirit. Well, if you were truly in the spirit, you would look at how our, our, our your, your foremothers lived. You would look at what Proverbs 31 says, a virtuous woman is a married woman. But no, nobody cares about that. No, we're just going to operate in our feelings and emotions and what our favorite person said. Our favorite pastor, our favorite leader said, oh, you just be in the spirit. Just be in the spirit and walk in the spirit and 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 the spirit. And, the spirit. and you're filling yourself up with vain, empty religion. That means absolutely nothing to anybody else but you and people like you. Because the Bible says that every man cleaveth to his like. Every man consorteth according to the kind and every man cleaveth to his like. You're going to hang around people that are like you. 
or you'll get mad at any time somebody talks about physical and spiritual. You'll get mad about that. I don't need no physical. I don't need no physical. I don't need no physical. Yahshua is my physical. Yahshua is my physical. Yahshua is my, Yah's my husband. Yah is my husband. It's amazing that when the book says what it says, it didn't just say, it didn't say wives submit yourselves to Yah. It said wives submit yourselves to your husbands. When you read Numbers chapter 30, Numbers chapter 30 clearly tells you that a husband has the opportunity to void your vow. That's as a, that's a safety measure for you. So you run around saying, well, Yah's my head. Yah's my covering. Yah's, yeah, 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 yeah. And even Naomi told Ruth, hey, you need security. Naomi didn't say, hey, Ruth, Yah's our covering. When it, seven, when it says seven women are going to take hold of one man, it's not the same women aren't saying, Yah's our covering. They're going to find out. That's why they say, so we can take away our approach. If you look behind the word reproach in the Hebrew, it means disgrace and shame. The shame is they're not covered. But hey, we can spiritualize it and religious, make it religious and make it sound real good and make, make our crappy situations sound holy. Doesn't the Bible say that? And doesn't the Bible say that, that a time will come where they're going to they're gonna call what is defiled clean and what is clean defiled? We're going to call things that are a shame holy and the things that are holy a shame. So you got people running around speaking against things that they don't understand, calling it wicked, calling it a shame. You're just fulfilling what the Bible says because you're vain, empty religion. Because you've, he, was it 324, 326, for many are deceived by their own vain opinion. And evil suspicion have to overthrow their judgment. You have the book. You have the ability to read it. So why not read it? Brothers, you have the book. You have the ability to read it. So why are we still running around saying that we don't have to do these things? We don't have to leave. We don't have to store food. We don't have to. We don't have to. We don't have to. When you can see countless examples in the Bible of it happening. When the Bible clearly tells you, go to the ant thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. Without a ruler, without an overseer, it prepares its health. In the summer. See, this is what happens when you turn Yah's book and you make it some hocus pocus magic book. Instead of it being a concrete book that you are to do. Not just read and feel good about it. You are to go and do it. <clears throat> Well, I truly hope you're right. I really hope that your gamble is right. Because if you're not, then what does that mean for your soul? If you're just focusing on the spiritual, what does that mean for you if you have not prepared yourself physically? But if I'm wrong, well, guess what? I prepared my household, my family, physically and spiritually. Just like the book says. My beloved brother is repairing their household spiritually and physically. Just like the book says. We didn't pick one part and say, well, the physical part's too hard. I don't want to do that one. It's too inconvenient. It's easier just to manifest inside of my head some hocus pocus. You better get real with your walk. Because as you can see in this world, time's running out. Time is running out. Things are fastly. That snowball has gone downhill and it's picked up an, un, an unbelievable amount of speed. For those of you who have been on my channel for a while, you, you know what I'm talking about, the snowball I've been talking about for years. It's going downhill and getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and now it looks like it done hit a, 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 you know, a cliff and, and created an avalanche. And whatever's in the way of that avalanche will get swallowed up, and you need to make sure you are not in the way. Don't build your house in front of the avalanche. And this, the avalanche looks like it's turning into these metropolitan er areas, these reservations. That's where the avalanche is going to hit first. Build your house away from the avalanche. Physical and spiritual. Not just spiritual. You're not to do one and leave the other undone. You are to do both, as the book says. Bless y'all. Hope this hit somebody. Shalom.